Welcome and peace be with you. In this session, we're going to talk about the second principle of qualities. As previously mentioned in the tip principle of creation, everything in the universe is made up from elements with corresponding qualities. For example, fire with qualities of hot and dry, earth cold and dry, air hot and moist, and water cold and moist. Now, according to Tube philosophy, the qualities of heat and coldness are active qualities, whereas moistness and dryness are passive qualities. Now, let us talk about the interaction of qualities in nature. To understand the influence that these qualities have on us, it is necessary to understand the interaction of qualities in nature. Firstly, it is obvious that heat is opposite to coldness and dryness is opposite to moistness. And we are aware that in nature, there's a gradual transition between opposing qualities. In other words, the cold of winter is not followed by the heat of summer. And this minimizes the negative effects of sudden qualitative changes to plants, animals, and human beings. And because of this gradual transition, the four main qualities result in intermediate states. Now, here's a slide that, that shows these intermediate states where between the main quality of heat and moistness, we have hot and moist. Similarly, we have cold and moist. And between cold and coldness and dryness, we have cold and dry. And between dryness and heat, we have hot and dry. Now, it's very significant to know the importance that, that qualities played in the interpretation of tip principles. Bearing in mind that without the technology of today, tip philosophers devise imaginative ways of interpreting information in a rational, logical, and systematic way. As qualities is used to describe the tip principles of creation, temperament, humors, lifestyle factors, and illness conditions. Qualities enable tip philosophers to understand and interpret health and disease in a simple and effective way for thousands of years. In tip philosophy, qualities form the basis of interpreting etiology, pathology, diagnosis, and treatment. In the other principles that will follow this aspect of qualities, will obviously be highlighted and show the wisdom of the philosophers of the past. Thank you.